What's up, everyone? It's Roy and Coach George Calioris in the basement doing some overhead pressing. It's a heavy over, overhead press day. Elbows were feeling a little wonky from the day before. So I threw the sleeves on and I uh, got my lifters on clean. And there's 160 for one rep, 160 for two reps. And that was the second set. The first set didn't record. Uh, which is a PR, for me, so I'm pretty happy. I went outside and I went and did some log press. I haven't done log in a long time. I like to just have fun. Did some push press. This is more of a technique skill. It's not a, about overloading so much as it is about trying to drive with the legs and staying upright while pushing the weight back over your head. And something I don't do a very good job of is flaring my elbows out at the top. I keep my elbows kind of tucked in, and sometimes it helps, and sometimes it hurts me. So it's kind of a path of least resistance for some people. You see, I kind of flare my elbows out, not a whole lot. I got a hard time locking that right tricep out, too, for some reason. Uh, after the log press, just went and did some incline dumbbells. I was trying to keep the elbows close to my body on this to really work the rotation of the shoulder. Um, not so much like a bodybuilder style, but as you can see, once I start getting tired, I just throw my elbows out and finish up my reps, which it doesn't hurt. To do something like that, it's just uh, you know where you want to put stress and emphasis. And I was supersetting the stability ball toe touches. Uh, just make sure that you're keeping the trunk braced. And you can see I'm like moving around a lot. It's kind of because the ball is deflated, like you're supposed to be steady as a rock. And then uh, felt like doing some more pressing. So I hit up some kettlebell. Haven't done kettlebell presses in a while. Some kettlebell manipulation with the clean. Try and keep it close to your body like you're zipping a jacket. You catch it with the elbow right underneath it. And you keep your wrist straight. And then just press up from there. I don't remember how many I did, maybe 12 on each side or 10. Uh, these are suspension flutters, again, keeping the trunk braced, not rotating. Um, do these for like ultra high reps, like 25 on each side, because you can see the range of motion is not very big. And you're just trying to get time under tension with the trunk. So I throw in another 30 seconds of just uh, static plank holds. Staying tight, staying right. I turned my palms outward or inward to work some external rotation and it uh, felt pretty good on the shoulders, so I ain't mad about them. Anything to get a little bit better, right? And then just went ahead and did some regular tricep and shoulder movements. Nothing fancy about these. I like these cable uh, triceps lately. They're really blowing on my triceps hard, um, so I've been doing a lot of them. Sets so of 10 or 12 or 15, depending on what I'm doing. Um, just some lateral ra lateral raises. I like doing like lateral raises and front raises for 10 to 25 reps. I kind of cycle it through the week or through the month. So I might start with like four sets of 20 or five sets of 20, and then do like, or I'm sorry, like four sets of 10 and like four sets of 18 and four sets of 20 and then like five sets of each and all over again. And then this is my finisher. So, three, three rounds of 45-15, just trying to get some movement in, feel like a fucking human again, and uh, yeah, get out. And make sure you like the video, share the video, and let that rotation on, on those bands right there. Thanks, guys.